Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. In this screencast, I would like to show you some new features of our Hailtronic Tool Studio 3 Release 4. I would like to start with IMS Advanced. IMS Advanced offers some new measuring functions to compensate wheel wheel. I have described the basic function in the tutorial IMS Advanced. Here I show the function Probing Inspection Point IMS Advanced in more detail using a simple contour tool. The operation is inserted with the operation wizard and connected to the first clearance profile operation of the profile. You get the operation here and the measuring point in center at front of the tool. With Ctrl left mouse or Ctrl shift left mouse you can define a measuring point at any position of the profile. With click on snap you can set the inspection point to this position. Probing direction defines from which side the point is to be measured. In my case top is the right choice. Here you can see various parameters that define the measuring and contact point and can be adjusted if necessary. That's are the movements of inspection point with probing direction from top. In the wheel set, what I use for grinding the clearance of profile, you can see two new parameter sets. IMS diameter corrections and IMS set length correction with the wheel parts, radius, side and OD. To simulate the function, I put in at IMS diameter correction at radius a value. When a value is entered, the diameter of the wheel is corrected and all operations that use the same grinding wheel and the same wheel part are highlighted in green. To find the first tools on a workpiece with a tools group, you can use probing tools group now. The task of the operation probing tools group is to find the tools group with the expected helix direction. The operation probes two points along the edge and calculates an approximated helix angle. If the approximated helix angle matches the helix of the connected base operation, then a AX workpiece offset is set. If it's not the case, then the probing routine continues with the next tools. The drill and step tool wizard provide a regrind option for spiral base flutes. The new regrind option is available for spiral flutes, type tapered and standard, and can select with checkbox regrind. The probing flute helix operation is generated, which serves a base operation for the spiral base flutes. That means that the helix for the flute is taken from the operation probing flute helix. The drill and step tool wizard provide a new spiral base flute, optional with external user-defined core. From this version there are four base flute types selectable. Standard spiral is the new one, tapered spiral corresponds with spiral in previous version. If you select standard and the checkbox user-defined core, then a core is generated with an external core profile. This profile is editable. Also the floating profile is editable. For the parameter rake angle can be used the convert to option. The operation clearance profile end phase can be extended with an eccentric move to remove remaining material on a boring bar tool. There are three new spiral roll-off parameters. If I set the geometry parameters to zero, you can see a leftover material. To clear this, I use these parameters again. Here you see that the movement on the end of the clearance operation follows the position of the neck. To get these new parameters, you have to intersection the clearance profile end phase operation with neck and floating.
with contour tools it is sometimes required to rush a clearance with a rushing wheel which has a bigger bond radius than the smallest inner corner of the clearance profile. Therefore, you have to add an additional first clearance profile operation. With the selection, file it in the corners, you get two new input parameters. The filet radius has to be slightly bigger than the used bond radius of the rushing wheel. With the selection Use Bond Radius as Filet Radius, it is also possible to define the filet radius in percent to the grinding wheel radius. Additional clearance definition, constant drop in operation cam relief. With clearance definition, constant angle, the clearance angle along the design edge of each relief is constant. Same clearance angle on each point along the arc length of any cap. With constant drop, the drop is constant, independent of the diameter of the actual cut. Same drop on each diameter. The tool profile kept when regrinding the fluid face only. On rushing cutters it's possible to define an angle behind cutting edge for the whole tool or individual for each cut. Up to now, it's also possible to define an angle behind cutting edge at front and at back. The lengths of the cuts between are linear interpolated. Until now, the infeed in operation axial fluting grinding was applied in set direction perpendicular to the flute face. Now the operation supports also an infeed in A direction, radial infeed. To select the infeed in A direction, you have to select the checkbox infeed in Z applied in A. Now I will show some smaller new features. One of this is to set an individual range for input parameters. The user-defined input range can be set individually for each IDM. If you make an on-screen measurement between two points, the angular position is now also displayed. The plank type corner radius is now available. In the wizard for ball nose cutters with rushing profile, you can now select whether the profile is to be ground only on the diameter or on the diameter and the ball. That was a selection of some of the new functions in Tool Studio 3.4. I hope you found them interesting. Thank you for attention. You can find more information about our machines, software, training and customer care on our homepage. Visit us again soon.